Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to remember to affirm all day. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things law of assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. I also wanna thank today's sponsor, Tamu. Tamu is an online marketplace where you can find stylish items for an affordable price. In fact, after getting these items sent from Temhu, I literally jumped back on the website to order myself some more stuff. Not only was every item amazing quality, but it was a very good value for money. The website itself, when you go on there, has a variety of different items. And not only that, each item is incredibly stylish. You can literally spend hours scrolling that website, adding things to your cart because everything looked so damn good. Before we get into the meat of this video, let's jump into the haul. First off is this pajama set. It has the cutest geometric print on it. I love the red and pink and it's very comfortable and I felt very stylish in it. Next is this lounge set. So I got the white, black and gray combo. Now I think that this is really cute for the house or running errands and I paired it off with Y2K white wraparound sunglasses. I think these are so cool. Next up, I got this knit dress, but for me, it turned out to be a top. So I would suggest to size up. However, this was really comfortable. I love going to the beach. So this is an amazing addition to my wardrobe. Next is the second gray outfit from that previous lounge set. I feel really cute in these monochromatic colors and I can literally go anywhere and feel so super comfortable. I paired it off with these Y2K wraparound glasses and it just adds such a cool touch. Then I got these high-waisted leggings. These are so comfortable and they really make your toshi look amazing. Does it pass the squat test though? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> this is the third outfit from that set. Again, super comfy, very cute. Can go anywhere in this. This is the best for myself concept, girlies. As you know, one of my favorite affirmations is I'm perfect. Everything about me is perfect. So when I saw this, I absolutely lost it. It is a constant reminder that my self-concept is the best and everything about me is perfect. Next, I got this minimalist canvas shoulder bag and what I absolutely love love about this is it compartmentalizes everything so you can put your sunnies in one part your water bottle in another part how many times have you quickly tried to find something in your bag and you had to rummage around looking for it for the longest time well this solves all of your problems for you next i got this puffer tote bag these bags are so cute i think they are perfect for going to the gym and what i love the most about it is that it zips up again you will know that i absolutely love going to the beach and this is the cutest beach bag ever i love the combination of the beige and the dark brown it looks so nice and you can actually add so many things here like sunscreen your towel water whatever last bag i got was this minimalist shoulder bag and this is so shiny and slick and it's such a nice looking bag i love the belt edition at the back it just looks very sleek and professional it looks a little bit red on camera but in real life it's more brown next i got this cute straw hat something different than your normal baseball cap i think this is really cute for going to the beach and covering your face from sunlight then i got this baseball cap this is absolutely perfect for going to the gym covering my face so no one looks at me or just being out in the sun for a long time it is really helpful and of course if there is a pink option you know that i'm gonna get that one next i'm wearing these slippers as we speak my feet do not want to be caught dead without wearing these slippers they're so comfortable especially today it's super rainy so they keep my feet warm and it's just so cute amazing quality 
the inside is pink i absolutely love it now the crocs are not included but these are charms for crocs and they are so cute like there's peppa pig in there all of these different options and it just adds such a cute touch to your crocs next i want to talk about these set of pajamas that i got and they are so cute so floral I feel so girly when I'm wearing them. The thing that I love about this is it comes in a three-piece set. So it comes in black, it comes in white, it comes in gray, and it has the cutest little flowers. I love this kind of stuff for when you're going to bed. It has this cute rose right at the front, and at the very bottom it has these frilly details, which I love. Then it comes in this color. It's like a grayish pink, which is so cute. This is definitely my favorite because it's just so cute and girly. That's another thing that I love about Tamu is that some things really come in like a set of three. So you get three different colors. So if you like it, you can switch it up. And this, oh my God, yes. Okay, so I have a lot of things in my bag and I like to wear tote bags which are deep and vertical and my keys always seem to go at the very bottom so i got this keychain it is a hello kitty little plushie and you can take the hood down a little bit it's so cute oh she's a little bit bold it has little ears and what i love about it is that you can find it straight away because it has like a huge ass plushie on it and I love it. I love her. I also got this headband for when I'm doing my skincare routine and it just pushes the hair back so seamlessly and it looks like I'm wearing a cute little crown and I have seen this everywhere on Instagram and TikTok and this one comes at an affordable price and the little wristbands are so cute so the water doesn't run. This is just a cute little accessory in general I feel. So I actually traveled to Positano, Italy last year and I absolutely fell in love with the lemon theme that seems to be running all through the town. And so when I saw this, I went insane because I started creating a lemon theme for my house as well. And I feel like this is so cute for the kitchen. So these are just kitchen towels and I really like how it feels. This actually absorbs the water. It doesn't just like slide off and you have this like gross kind of damp feel in your hands like some kitchen towels have. And then this one, this is the one that I've been using. It's so cute. It says hello. Next, I got a microfiber floor mop cloth as a replacement and this is microfiber and this is really cute and really affordable as well because you do have to keep replacing them. Then, okay, how many of you go to brunch with your friends and you have nowhere to put your bag, you feel like an asshole putting it on the chair next to you or on the desk where people are eating and you don't want to exactly put your tote bag or your bag in general on a messy floor. So I got this, which you basically clamp this up to the desk and it acts as a clasp for you to put your sunglasses maybe and your tote bag and then if you want to reach out for your wall or anything like that no problem you can literally just take the handle off and rummage around in there it is nice and safe with this clasp i learned this from anna paul oh my god i literally have wanted this and i totally forgot about it and when i saw it on tamu i lost my freaking mind then tamu is not stingy with their socks like you get a really good deal with socks and i like to replace socks fairly frequently i either like always end up losing them or i started going to the gym now and there's only so many times you can wash them if you know what i mean so i got these really cute wintry ones which i actually plan to wear around the house they come in literally the cutest colors ever i'm so obsessed with them i feel like they could have a moment by themselves like if you have like yeezy slides or something and you can put them on like yeezy slides and it like just has the same sort of color which gives off a really cute vibe big fan of these then i got these oh my god there's so many socks in here black white ankle socks just your casual run-of-the-mill 
socks, but I got them for super cheap and I got a lot of them in one package. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these socks. Oh, and another thing are these really cute, chunky earrings that I will be wearing for the rest of the video. New users get shocking first purchase discounts, including an $100 bundle. So download the Temu app through the link in my description to get amazing deals. And use this discount code displayed on the screen right now to get an $100 coupon bundle. And as always, all of the information will be in the description box down below. The first and easiest way to remember to affirm as much as possible throughout the day is whenever you think about your manifestation, either if you are thinking from lack or you're thinking it would be so nice to have that and you're excited for that thing, just affirm. Whenever you feel like shit about this manifestation or shit in general, just affirm. This is different from flipping the thoughts. This is you literally getting your picked out affirmations and saying them on loop until those thoughts go away. So we are using our negative thoughts and our wavering as an alarm clock to continue to affirm. Remember, when we affirm and persist, we get our manifestation. So that should make you feel a lot better when you're feeling negative because you feel a negative thought, that's an alarm clock to affirm, you affirm and then you remember, huh, through affirming, I'm actually gonna get this thing. And it is the opposite of a vicious cycle. It is a wholesome cycle. The next way is to bookmark your day from the morning to the evening and set a specific schedule time in the middle of the day to affirm. Now you can do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, 10 minutes in the middle of the day. If your top three affirmations are, I have a million subscribers, all my videos go viral, I earn a thousand dollars a day, that's what you should be saying over and over and over again for those 10 minutes. The third way is whenever you are starting to feel bored or you want to have the urge to listen to a podcast or music or watch a movie or whatever, that should be your alarm clock to affirm instead. This is really important when we remind ourselves that through affirming for this thing is when we are going to get this thing, that should make us want to affirm even more. Overriding, wanting to watch a YouTube video or a movie or listen to music, unless it's a subliminal by me. So whenever you're walking to school or doing something mundane like washing the dishes, that should again be an alarm clock for you to be like, oh, Thank you so much, now I'm gonna affirm. The next way is to use that alarm clock when you are facing 3D circumstances that are less than favorable. Say you are posting something on Instagram stories for your SP, but it's been 23 hours and your SP still hasn't watched it and you're getting into a spiral, you could, instead of spiraling, use that as an alarm clock to affirm for what you want. I'm in a committed relationship with SP. Or if you're having a conversation with your mom and she triggers you and she says, you're not gonna get anywhere in life if you have shitty exam marks and you start worrying about your exam marks, you will start to affirm instead. I get perfect grades. The same can be said when we are feeling shit about anything, not even to do with our manifestation. We should use that as an alarm clock to affirm for what it is that we want. The next step is using SATs and remembering using that alarm clock for the evening. So as soon as my head hits the pillow, I should be affirming. Let me affirm into the night until I fall asleep because those affirmations will penetrate into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind will be doing the work for you as you sleep. Sats is an incredible, insane, very scary, scary, scary technique that has gotten me absolutely everything that I've ever wanted. I don't know how to say this more clearer. Do sats by affirming. You do not need to visualize while doing sats. So those are all the ways that you can remember to use affirmations throughout the day. I know that sometimes it can be difficult because we get distracted with our 3D reality. That's natural. But if we can use all of these things that I talked about today as an alarm clock to keep affirming and keep affirming, we are going to get our manifestation much 
quicker than we thought possible. And with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.